Turning now to today's morning business report at 615, Pepsi believes its future involves less sugar in its drinks. And the government is looking to offer more students free school lunches. Jane King is live now at the NASDAQ with these stories for us. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. So the USDA had this program in place during the pandemic, then it went away. They're proposing changes to expand the free school lunch program. So the community eligibility provision would help school districts where at least 40% of the students benefit from SNAP or the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. And Amazon starting to warn consumers when products sold on the platform are regularly shipped back for returns. The warning label will encourage consumers to check the item details and read the reviews before making the purchase, helping them avoid misleading or low quality products and reducing unnecessary returns. And Pepsi dramatically is cutting the sugar content in its classic drink. The reformulated Pepsi is sweetened with a blend of acyl sulfame, potassium, and sucralose. Now, the changes mean a 330 milliliter can will have 15 grams of sugar when previously it had 36 grams. And stocks had big gains yesterday. Worries about banks are fading. Tech stocks have been leading things higher for the past few sessions. And today, we're pointing up about 150 points. Life in the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you.